Hey there, Tamir from FibonacciTraders.com here. Daily Market Recap, October 25, 2023. Like, subscribe, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Spy and the daily, bulls are nowhere to be found. We are now at the lower band of this downtrend channel and we are in a very steep downtrend until proven otherwise, breaking below the 415 and we will see 409, 410 area. Look left, this area of the 409, 410 is a, will be a very important area of support. It was a very important area of resistance, support. So below 415, embrace yourself. We are heading towards the 409. QQQ, almost 2.5% to the downside today. We are heading back to this lower trend line that holds the lower lows. Lower highs, lower lows on the queues since the peak of July. We are already almost 10% to the downside. Breaking below this lower band, breaking below the 345. And we will see 333 gap getting filled before the end of 2023. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. Where SPY and queues are heading in the next two months. Last two months of 2023, it looks like bears are in full control and nothing will stop them until the end of this year. Dow Jones relative strength, 0.3 to the downside, still hanging above the 328, very important area of support, breaking below it and we will see 320 together with this red trend line to the downside, but overall, also, we have lower highs, lower lows on the Dow Jones. On the longer term, Dow Jones is still, you can say, some kind of an uptrend since October 2022, but breaking below this 328, and we will have another lower low, and we will see 314 to the downside. IWM continue its bearish sentiment to the downside 162 is next 162 very important area of support but it looks like that for now all supports all across the boards are getting broken to the downside below 162 we will see 156 to the downside in the premium room we took a great short below the 4223 on the futures and as you can see, we took short on the SPY, we had stop loss and it went all the way to 41.91, all the way when SPY reached and touched this area, the 4.1783, then we closed the short, pretty good short, this kind of trades can make you a monthly salary. Check the links in the description below if you want to join us. You are more than welcome. We share ideas on day trading, swing trading, and most importantly, we educate one another how to become a better trader each and every day until you will become your own indicator and you will become a professional trader. Bitcoin holding above the 34 thousand area very important area of support now it was support over here broke to the upside now needs to hold the support before the next leg up towards the 37k ethereum still struggling with this purple trend line this purple trend line goes back to april of 2023 lower highs let's see can ethereum close the week above the 1860 above this purple trend line and then with high probability we will see 1960 and 21 cl1 crude oil futures hanging above this red zone this red zone was a very tough resistance zone from november 22 until august of 2023 broke to the to the upside now hanging price is hanging above it retesting it as support let's see continuation upward towards the 90 and then towards the 95 breaking below this red zone and next will be the 77 area if you are long on crude oil your stop should be just below this red zone of course it's only my opinion 
do your own due diligence. Long continuation above 87 towards the 90 and then 95. Below 82, we will see 77, 76 to the downside. NG1, natural gas futures still inside an uptrend channel. But if you're not long yet on natural gas, in my opinion, this is not the time to take long. We have a retracement. I want to see the weekly above the 285, 286 area. And then we will see this gap at the, three, the 320 getting filled, breaking below the 286. And this gap at the 266 will get filled. SOXX all the way to the lower band of this downtrend channel. Looks like bulls will fail to hold it. And this gap at the 433 needs to get filled. If bulls want to gain some power back, they need to let bears fill this gap and then try to get back above towards the 470, 475 area. But as long as price of SOXX is inside this channel, we are in a downtrend. We can take also Fibonacci, swing low, swing high. And as we can see, this gap with the 430 area, our next support. Meta with very good earnings report, but went down almost 3% to the downside. Now 285 needs to hold. Below 285, we will see this weekly multi-top scenario. If you go to the weekly, you can see double top scenario before below the 295, below the 285. We are heading towards the 275. Below this one, we will see all this bull run to the upside, this trend, this bullish trend to the upside. We will see the same price action, but to the opposite side, to the downside. And don't be surprised if we will see 214 gap getting filled maybe not before the end of 2023 because it's pretty far it's 25 percent in two months it's pretty deep but never say never be prepared google earnings gap to the downside 123 gap is next below 123 we will see 119 this trend line are not relevant anymore so we delete them always clean your chart now 124 together with this gap our next support breaking below 119 breaking below 114 and then we will see this gap at the 113 getting filled microsoft 345 resistance 337 support we have a gap to the downside 337 needs to hold otherwise this gap will get filled if you're not long yet on microsoft i would wait i want to see a weekly close above 345 Apple went down 1.35% to the downside. 170 is still holding. Bulls of Apple are defending the 170 area with all they have because they know once this will break to the downside, we will see 167 gap getting filled. In my opinion, this gap needs to get filled as soon as possible. And maybe then, after earnings, Bulls of Apple will gain their power back, will they gain their respect back. We will see the next leg up towards this upper trend line. But as long as price of Apple is below this yellow trend line, this yellow trend line goes way back to the peak of August. Lower highs, lower lows. So as long as Apple is below this yellow trend line, we are in a downtrend. Tesla. 1.9% to the downside, heading south towards the 203. 203, very important area of support. All this area, the 203, 215, was very tough resistance. All this area, resistance and support. So now all this area, the 203, 215, 
once again support below 203 in my opinion we will see steep continuation down towards the 170 and then this gap at the 146 never say never it's tesla very volatile 30 percent of the downside in two months for tesla it can happen it did here Eighty percent to the upside in two months, so thirty percent to the downside can happen in Tesla. Don't be surprised if it will. Netflix holding above the four ten, pretty good. We have it, but the overall sentiment in the market is trying to push Netflix back below the three ninety six, and then this gap will get filled. If you're not long yet on Netflix, in my opinion. This is not the time to go long on Netflix. This is not the time to go long on any of these magnificent seven. Meta, Google, Microsoft, Apple, Tesla, Nvidia, AMD, Amazon. It's not the time to, long, to go long on any of them. And as you can see, Netflix, we have this yellow trend line that helps us to identify the lower highs since the peak of July. Let's see where Netflix will end this month. Nvidia, 4.3% to the downside, heading back to this red zone, breaking below this red zone, a weekly close below this red zone, and we will see 372 to the downside, below 372, we have 306, 26%. In 60 days? Less than 60 days because we don't have full 60 days of trading. But never say never. Amazon 5.6% to the downside. Tomorrow after the bell, we have Amazon earnings. Someone knows something? Selling before earnings. We are heading towards this yellow trend line. Bad reaction for Amazon earnings and this trend line will get broken to the downside towards the 106 gap. Good reaction and we will see back above the 123, maybe towards the 135 gap. It holds back the, the bears. They are full power ahead. AMD 5.5% to the downside and here we are. 95 we said, if you remember, 95 is next, and here we are. Back inside this trend, this downtrend channel, back at the 95. Tuesday, October 31st, we have AMD earnings. In my opinion, we will meet 88 before earnings. Shopify 7.4% to the downside. We said that once this red zone will break to the downside, bears will come in full power. And here we are, 7.4% in one day for Shopify. Towards the 48 gap, tomorrow or Friday, this gap will get filled. Where to next? No need to guess. Below this gap, we are heading towards 4350, 4370 area, all this area. You're more than welcome to check. Beginning of September videos, we said that below 63, a weekly close below 63, we will see the same price action we saw over here to the upside. We will get the same price action to the downside. And we will see 48 gap getting filled. We have talked about it. So nothing is surprising. Once you look left and understanding price action, where price came from and where it might be heading next, nothing is surprising. If you want to become your own indicator, if you want to really become consistent, profitable trader without any lagging indicators, Check the links in the description below. Choose your own path. 
until you will become profitable trader. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, share with friends will be much appreciated. Don't forget the notification bell. We are heading live 8.30 Eastern Time. Until then, stay safe.